Hey guys, welcome to a brand new React tutorial. Um, this one we're going to be talking about how to implement uh, transitions in uh, React. And the first method we're going to explore is how to just use the plain JavaScript HTML CSS without any uh, packages, um, with just plain code, right? We're going to type it ourselves of how to re achieve this um, animation. Uh, and the second of all, we're going to try to use React transition group. And the third one, we're probably going to use another um, react transition library something like that so without further ado let me first of all show you guys what it can do what the demo can do we're going to click to open the text it opens and then we'll click it it's going to go back in again and the css for it is really simple um uh the nav and the nav icon does not have any transition logic in there uh, so as the uh, but, but only here right this is the only transition effect where we actually typed transition so now um let me remove the necessary code and I'm show you guys how to do this from um, not the bare minimum scratch, but you know, just from let's just remove the logic here. And actually, it turns out that there wasn't there wasn't much to uh, remove. Actually, let me remove the uh, um, stuff here too. Okay, guys. So it turns out that there's not that much to remove. Um, I only removed like five lines in total. So this is a really simple example, um, right? So let's get to it. So our our entire division is called a wrapper. And the idea of this code is that we're going to change the class name of uh, this wrapper element, and I'm referring wrapper to it right now with this ID. We're going to change the class name of this wrapper element, and then based on the new class name or the old class name, the styles is going to have its corresponding uh, margin values, right? So when it's not open, the margin is pushing negative 300 values to the left, or actually 300 values to the left. And then when it's open, we're going to move that and back to the zero center line. So how do we do that? Now, click to open more is going to be our trigger. Right now, this doesn't make anything happen the only thing we have happening is uh we wrote in the css to have its um cursor to be pointer but that's all we did but let's actually implement the method right so i'm going to write a uh, inline function on click and then i'm going to do actually I'm not not do inline this not handle uh click Let me just write it out here so that makes more sense. Uh, I'm going to write it like this so that we don't have to bind it. And when we do this, we're going to do document document get elements by ID. What is the element of the ID? This is the wrapper elements. And how do we change this class name? We're going to use toggle. Um, let's change it to is open now. Uh, and that's it that's all we're gonna do so now when we click it the text um oh what happened oh that class list I, I forgot the class list okay so what we have just done is that the block to the left that we can't see its name is now is open now uh, but we haven't implemented that in the css so that nothing really happens we only change the class name uh, in fact, we can probably see it and it's relatively easy. Um, let me go over here, we click it, it goes back. And actually, Tog goes back and forth, so we don't actually see the... Um, like, Toggle is not just adding to it, Toggle is going back and forth of its original and the new one. Um, and so that's why kind of uh, it, it's kind of suited perfectly for a show uh, for a parents and a deep parents did i just say deep parents i mean an appearance i don't know i don't know what's the word for the opposite of appearance um but making the element disappear in the pair uh so now let's address the uh, new one so it's called is open now right and all we're gonna do is change the margin the new margin to uh zero and if we save this right now when we click open that happens but we need the transition 
and to do transition is really easy we just do transition margin and then let's give it maybe like we can we can play around say five seconds all right so we're going to see a really slow thing and if click it's going to go back really slow too all right that's perfect and then of course if we change it to 0.5 um it's going to go like boom boom 